Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Can you believe it? The weekend. Rainy weekend. We're going to do a little weather update slash tropical update. I kind of like these little quickies here on YouTube. I appreciate it. So if you like it, subscribe and comment so I can get my numbers up. It means a lot. We're going to try to do the days with Hunter. This is little Hunter, the man of the hour. <laughs> so right above me is a live look at the satellite. Uh, today is peak of season right here boom september 10th statistically it's supposed to be the most active time of the year it has not been as we know um however lots of time for things to watch so don't let your guard down uh season's been a little weird yes but still a lot of a lot of months out there october could be be some big ones in October, so just remember that. But today is peak of season. I wanted to bring that up. Uh, here's a current look at the tropics. All right, so yesterday we had an Invest 95 and we had another wave. Invest 95 is still out there, but it's going to fizzle. Lots of dry air. It's gone on the NHC map. This little guy is gone on the NHC map. However, I'm going to tell you all a little secret. might want to keep an eye on this little guy. Because once it gets over here in about a week plus... Just, just put it out there. We'll see. Sneaky little weak west systems. Once it clears all this uh, dry air, never know. So that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> but we got this guy right here. This is um, this is expected to go north. It's not even over uh, water yet. It is looking pretty healthy over uh, Africa right now. So that is on the map. So we'll keep an eye on it. Most of the models do have it kind of tugging to the north. But that's it. That's the official map today. We got Earl going bye bye. Goodbye, Earl. <laughs> Goodbye, Earl. All right, so uh, a couple things. Let's look at long range. Um, these are the spots to kind of watch down the road. These are your ensembles. This is our new wave that's coming off the NHC mark. Here's our old wave that the uh, NHC does not mark. We're going to keep an eye on this. The only reason I'm bringing it up is, uh, you know, a weaker system tracks west. And, you know, the overnight Euros giving it a chance to try to develop once it clears all that dusty dry air so this would be you know the same timing as always we've been talking about it uh sometime around the 15th and 16th right here nearing the islands so that time frame is still there that might be when we get the window of opportunity for that thing to try to develop and there are some ensembles showing development uh creeping close there you know to watch so a long way away week plus Time frame for anything in this neck of the woods here would be the uh, 19th of September. That's a long way. That's nine, ten days from now. But you never know. This interesting. So we'll keep an eye on this guy, see if it has any chance whatsoever to get going. Uh, other spots to watch, you know, we've been seeing some ensembles pulling up some juice from the Gulf. That's kind of off and on. We've also been seeing some energy coming off here um, sometime around the same time frame as... Um, the uh, 15th and 16th right here so there has been a little bit of ensemble support here a little bit of ensemble support here still nothing's changed on that but that's it this is the only thing official this one right here <laughs> this and uh like i said this one kind of trending to the north so we'll we'll see i think it's at 30 percent this morning actually let's take a look it's like i said at 30 percent. so all right real quick the other things we're going to talk about real quick uh we have a mid-level low happening in the gulf of mexico in fact you can see it right here check this out check it out hunter what do you think about that? <laughs> uh, very incredible looking. This is water vapor loop. You can see clear spinach out here. Dry air getting pulled down from the uh, continental U.S. here. And it's pretty amazing. But it's firing up these storms that are out ahead of it. Now, there's no low-level circulation. Uh, this is mid-level. Low-level, not there. So, doubtful this thing's going to develop. You know, we talked about it last week. You always watch these blobs in the Gulf of Mexico. I mean, you just do. Uh, here's the latest look at it. Um, it's bubbling up so you know but it's it's moving quick there's not a, you know there's no surface low attaches all all these upper level winds firing this up but what that's going to do is we got some storms firing out there and this is uh in incoming we've already had a stormy day remember yesterday we talked about the charleston area there was a bow pushing up that definitely indeed happened yesterday we had these big storms over over um, carolinas last night we got another one setting up now that I'm curious about. This one's going to be rolling into the Florida West Coast here this afternoon. So um, kind of keep an eye on the Gulf. The uh, <laughs> Storm Prediction Center's got a new outlet coming, but we got dark green. 
So definitely if you got outdoor plans, uh, you want to take a look at uh, the radar. Your radar is your friend today. Always look to the radar on days like this because you just never know. Anytime, any place, it can rain. But this has got my attention for sure. We might have some sneaky storms later today. It's really bubbling out there a lot. Um, so that's interesting to say the least. Um, but the timing is uh, approaching about noontime today. So we'll see if that does pan out and uh, bring some nasty storms to uh, middle Florida and upper Florida. And here we go. Here's the animated gift. So you can kind of get an idea. It's coming quick. There's a pretty hefty line right here. So keep an eye on that Tampa Bay. All right. Well, there's a little quickie. What's going on? Appreciate you tuning in. Um, Hunter, enjoy doing these little YouTubes with you. So appreciate it. You can uh, always subscribe to our channel and support us lots of ways. Uh, there's a button on our site to be a subscriber and we have a lot of cool perks so be a member of the uh, coolest weather people in the world the MWP brew crew <laughs> all right we'll see y'all later maybe I'll do one tonight maybe one tomorrow we'll see have a great day